What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that basically acts as a wool material creator inside of Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so Wooly is a tool from Doublegum that you can use in order to make objects look like they're made of wool inside of Blender. And we've talked about Doublegum on the channel before. He's got a number of other asset packs. We've talked about his excellent Clay-Doh material collection, which is really good at making objects look like they're made of clay, which can then allow you to create this really like interesting style of models inside of Blender. So it's a super cool shader um, that I'll link to that video in the notes down below. But in this case, we want to talk about how to use this one in order to create felt and wool looking materials. And so the way this works is it works as an add-on, meaning you can go to edit preferences under add-ons and click on install. And you want to install the woolly add-on zip file that you get um, when you purchase the add-on. And then you can enable it just by clicking on the checkbox right here. Well, when you do that, all you have to do is tap the in key on your keyboard and click on the option for woolly. And so what this is going to do is it's going to add a hair system that looks like wool or felt. And so the first thing you want to do is you always want to make sure that you apply the scale. So I actually like that he's got this in a step one, step two setup right here, but then you can click on the option to add felt. And when you do that, notice this actually comes in here and this adds a felt material to your object. And so you can do the same thing with like a sphere, right? So if I do a shift A, add a sphere, and then do an apply scale, add fill, it's gonna do the same thing. And so if we jump over into material preview mode, um, you're gonna be able to see what that felt shader looks like. But then if you render it, so we're gonna jump over into rendered mode, do a shift A, and we'll just add a simple area light. We'll go ahead and hop over into cycles. And it's gonna take a second to update but notice how these objects actually look like they're covered in felt or kind of a fur. And so I'm going to hop us back into material preview mode right now, um, just so we can kind of take a look at the options in here. But basically what this tool does is it adds two things. It adds a felt material and also a felt modifier. And so if we click in here, so I'm going to select this object right here, and then I'm gonna click on the modifiers option. Notice how you can adjust things about the modifier. So for example, I can adjust the global scale of the fur that's created in here. This is going to adjust the length of the fur. You can also adjust the density like this, as well as the viewport density, meaning if you want this to be light um, within the actual viewport, but then heavier when you render it, you can use this slider in order to do that. You can also adjust the thickness of the fur that's generated just like this. And so that's how you can adjust how much fur is in here. And notice how there's additional options down below. So you can add like stray hairs, you can add noise and frizz, other things like that um, in order to make this adjustment. Um, but then you've also got a felt material that's generated and applied to this object. And notice how you link to that material inside of the hair system. And so you can adjust the settings of the felt material either over in the material section or in the actual shader editor itself. But notice how you can come in here and make adjustments to things like the color of that material, like this. And what this is doing is this is coming in here and it's adjusting the color of the felt that's created. And you can also adjust things like the texture scale. And actually that's that's kind of a cool setting which we'll talk about in a second. But for now, notice that you can like randomize the color. Um, you can randomize the roughness of the materials, other things like that in order to make this look a little bit more furry. But then if we jump back over into rendered mode, notice how this is actually doing like a pretty amazing job of making this felt material look like felt. So you're gonna use the material in order to adjust things like the color. And so what I really like about this is its simplicity, right? So if I add this Suzanne in here, we can go ahead and shade smooth. Um, but if we were to apply the scale and then add the felt material, notice how it's going to generate that felt in here really quickly. And so say that you wanted this to be a different color than the other felts. Well, notice how right now um, this is currently linking to the other instances of that material inside of the model. But I could take this material and just click on this button right here in order to create a single user copy. And so what that means is that means that this material is now gonna be different than the other materials that are in here. 
and we're going to bring our random color down. But the one thing we do want to do is we want to make sure that our modifier is actually linked to that woolly felt material one that we've generated in here, not to the other material. And that's probably going to require us to take this modifier in the modifier section and make it unique like this. Notice how then that color is going to kind of change in here. And so you want to make sure the material itself that's applied to this is the Suzanne is also linked to this woolly felt material right here in order to really get this to look the way that you want it to look. But again, notice how, and I probably need some additional light in here for you to really see it, but notice how this is actually doing a excellent job of making this object look like it's covered in fur. And so one thing to note is this is currently a work in progress, meaning he's got the felt modifier out, but he's working on adding hair systems and shaders and other models to this as well. So definitely worth checking out. If you do get this right now, um, you're going to get the version two and kind of like a beta version, but um, you're also going to get those future updates as he adds these additional systems. And you can tell just by looking at these images that um, they look amazing and the felt is super easy to create. So if you're looking for something to create this kind of like felt effect, um, definitely very cool. Now, one other thing to note is the older version had kind of a yarn look to it. I don't think the yarn is actually in here anymore. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not seeing that option in here. So right now this is currently the felt creation option, but for creating great looking felt, on your objects, this is actually really easy to use. Um, really cool modifier, a really cool add-on. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Wooly, if you've tried it out. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.